Hi, this instructional video is about a circle, a square, and then a circle inscribed inside it. Here's a little picture. We have a circle. Here comes a circle. Circle. Okay, not too bad. And then inside that circle, we have a square. Okay, let's just assume this is a square. It's not perfect. And the unit measurement is three for each side. And then there's another circle inside that. So here comes another circle inside that. Okay, kind of looks like a circle. And the question is, what is the area enclosed between the two circles? It has nothing to do with the square anymore. They're just asking, what is the area between the two circles? So the square is there for a reference, which is supposed to uh, provide some information about the circle. To find the area of a circle, you need a radius. And since there is no radius, I guess you're supposed to try to figure it out from the square given. And it can't be done. For example, it says it's three units. This is three units. But you know what? Before I ramble on, why don't you try to solve that one on your own? Come on, try it. Here's what I'm getting. I could figure the inside of a, a circle here because if the diameter or the dimension of that square is three units, that means it is three units diameter here of the small circle, then the radius of that small circle is half of the three, which is 1.5. So I could find the area of that circle real easily, pi r squared. That's pi times 1.5 squared. So that's 2.25, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, pi unit squared, okay? That's the area of a small circle. But what about the big circle? And that's why you need to look at the square. If you look at the square, the sides given are three and three. That's nice and dandy. I could find the area of a square, but that's not what we're dealing with here. So to find the area of the circle, the big one, we need a radius. And if you look very carefully, the radius can be viewed this way. See that? The radius of a big circle is the same as a diagonal of that square this way. That becomes the diameter. So how do you find the diameter or the diagonal of the square, which becomes eventually the diameter of the circle? Well, if you look at it, this is an isosceles. An isosceles, the ratio for the isosceles is, since two sides are congruent, if this is x, this is also x, then this will always be x square root of 2. How do you show that? Use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals a c squared. Let x represent the a, and since b is congruent, let b also be represented by an x, and we just need to find the c. x squared plus x squared, that's two of them, so that's 2x squared. To solve for c, you're going to square root both sides of this equation. So the c comes out, out of the inside of radical, there's x squared, so x comes out. Who stays in is the 2. There it is. So whatever number you substitute it in, for example, in this case, 3, if that's 3 and that's 3, this is simply 3 squared of 2. So there it is. That's 3 squared of 2. That's the diameter. However, we need a radius, and radius is simply half the diameter. So, there it is. That's the radius of the diameter, or the diagonal. And so the radius is now 3 squared of 2 over 2. So now we could find the area of a big circle, pi r squared. That's pi times radius. It kind of looks not too pretty, but hey, it can be done. And let's do that over here. 3 squared of 2 over 2 times another 3 squared of 2 over 2. Multiply across 3 times 3 coefficient is 9. When you, when you multiply two identical radicals, the 2 comes out. The right hand comes out. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's simplify. The 2 reduces the denominator 4 two times. So the area is simply, <laughs> not quite simply, but simply 9 over 2 pi. All right.
Now, we need to take that big circle and we're going to subtract the small circle. And you know what, let's just do this, 2.25. And since we're in a mode of a, a real number, nine over two, isn't that like saying four and a half or 4.5 pi minus 2.25? So, yes I must in case I don't want to make a mistake, 4.5 minus 2.25, that gives me 2.25. Pi. And what's 2.25? So let's take that and multiply to a pi. That's approximately 7.069 unit squared. Left over when you take a small circle, cut it away from the big circle. That is what you're remaining. All right, that wasn't too bad. Good luck.